Hi, this is Shohol Uzman, sales manager at Euro Motors Mercedes-Benz in Germantown, Maryland, and this is the 2019 G550. This is a fully redesigned and refreshed car for 2019. It's the first time it's really been changed since 1979, maybe. Uh, so as it has incremental changes over the years, this is the first time that they've done a complete, complete redesign. Exterior-wise, it looks very similar to the previous car. They wanted to keep the iconic shape and design. You can see the LED headlights there are different. There are some new wheel choices. Um, this particular one actually has the night package, so it has some additional black trim on the wheels themselves. Around the spare wheel cover, which is a carryover, they wanted to keep that as well. Um, and the tow package is standard. Parking assistance is standard, which is nice now. They do have some of the updates on for safety. There's some additional airbags, forward radar with autonomous braking, and some pre-safe features. Going inside the vehicle is probably the biggest changes to the car. Um, it has our more modern design to the vehicle. And this actually has our macchiato beige interior with the Zen wood. Uh, which is actually stunning in person. Uh, it does have our 64-way ambient lighting, which you've come to know uh, through our E-Class and S-Class, and now for our 2019 C-Class. Uh, this one does have our active lane keeping and park chronic, heated steering wheel, which they finally added, which is nice, uh, and the new steering wheel, which we have on the car. It does look very similar to all the new Mercedes steering wheels. It has full touch controls. You can move your finger up and down and change the screens. Uh, you can also do it on the right side for the center screen. So if you want to control things on the right side, you can do that as well. It does have our center touchpad and uh, some manual controls, dynamic controls. And probably the big thing that separates the G-Wagon over the others are these locking differentials. There, You can play with them if you're off-roading the vehicle or you can actually just set it to G mode and let it do it on its own. But you can see all the additional ambient lighting in the car, uh, which is hard to see in the light here. Uh, the additional wood trims, the optional second LCD screen, it'll always come standard with that big 12.3 inch right there, but you can actually get this additional 12.3 inch uh, to give it a more cohesive look. It does finally have a real sunroof, which is great, and some additional rear leg space, which is kind of hard to see. Um, but it does have additional rear leg space. Uh, going back to the outside, one of the biggest things people don't really realize with the car is the doors. Uh, so the exposed hinges are staying with the vehicle now, but it does carry over the door handles and gives you that solid thud that everybody loves in the G-Wagon. My favorite part, oddly enough, on the new car is the steering. Uh, the previous cars used an old steering box, which uh, was not exactly very precise. The new car has electromechanical steering, which makes getting in and around areas a lot easier, parking lots a lot easier, and makes life in general a lot easier. All this stuff still makes the car a great off-roader. Uh, it actually has 10 inches of ground clearance and can wade over two feet of water. With standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a lot of new tech on the inside of the car, some additional uh, space um, on the interior for legroom, and having our V8 twin turbo, four liters, putting out over 416 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque. The new G-Wagon is living up to the iconic status it had before. If you have any questions, please contact us here. I'm Shohol Uzman at Euromotors Mercedes-Benz in Germantown, Maryland.